Hey everyone, I'm Simone Oates Bullock and I'm a public engagement specialist for Go Triangle. I'd like to welcome you all to Zooming into Transit, a series of interactive virtual presentations about some of the many investments in the Triangle. So I'm joined today by my colleagues, Liz Raskoff, public engagement specialist, Andy Willard, public engagement specialist, and lastly, Jenny Green, service planner. And so first things first, I do wanna acknowledge why we're even making this video. And it's because we wanna connect a public that for the most part is staying home and getting their input on transit projects that are currently moving forward is important to us. Because as we know, coronavirus is affecting all communities. And as a transit agency, Go Triangle and its partners across Wake, Durham and Orange counties provide an essential service, transporting first responders, healthcare workers, and other essential employees to their jobs. So with the health and safety of our employees and community being a top priority, we've taken several steps to ensure that we do our part to stop the spread. So these steps include cleaning our buses twice a day, using a fogger that is more efficient at disinfecting our buses, providing hand sanitizer for our passengers, and even suspending fare collections and asking those who are able to enter and exit through the rear doors. So even with all these measures in place, Go Triangle still asking folks to only use the bus for essential services. But as we can imagine, a lot of you are probably at home and missing the bus, which we are too, but there are still plenty of ways to get involved with the future of transit. So let's get started. This particular segment is going to talk about Go Triangle proposed service changes for August 2020. And again, our special star here and, and guest is going to be Jenny Green, um, and she's our service planner. So she works directly on this. A round of applause, air claps. Um, so let's get started here. So Jenny, if you want to kind of just start off by giving us some background information on what service changes are and the process for selecting um, bus stops, that'd be great. Sure. Um, I just wanted to start by saying that the proposed service changes are um, implementing routes that were defined in the short range transit plan that the Go Triangle board approved in November of 2018. Uh, they are making the service faster, run more often, and run for more hours of the day and days per week. Uh, if you look down the list, uh, you'll see that there are a lot of changes being proposed to Wake County routes, in particular routes in Cary, Apex, and Raleigh, and we do have one um, change in Durham County uh, around the streets at South Point. That's the 305, all right. This is for the first service out to Holly Springs, right, Jenny? That's right, yeah, we're very excited um, to be able to extend the Route 305 to the town of Holly Springs. The Wake Transit Plan back in 2016 identified a big move of connect all communities. So mm -hmm. uh, with Holly Springs is the uh, municipality that doesn't have service yet. And so starting this August uh, through funding from Wake Transit, Mm -hmm. Route 305 would be extended to serve the town of Holly Springs at a stop in the downtown area, as well as from a park and ride. Um, awesome. Yeah, so here's a map of uh, the stops that we're proposing and the route. Uh, what we'd be looking at is a peak hour commute type of service where the bus starts in Holly Springs at the stop downtown and then continues up um, I think that's um, NC, the old NC 55 Main Street right. to a bus stop near Ting Park. And so um, as we've been talking with the town staff about different opportunities for park and rides, uh, the new stadium is, has uh, come up as a, a good location for some park and ride. Um, in the afternoon, uh, folks will be dropped off there at the, the park and ride before the bus continues down um, to the downtown. Uh, we also have within Apex uh, some route changes as well. The Route 305 right now ends at Lake Pine Plaza, which is um, in this area of Northeast Apex. Uh, but uh, in order to extend the route into Holly Springs um, and to provide better service to the town of Apex, mm -hmm. uh, the Route 305 would be extended down to the Compare Foods to serve the bus stop there, which is where there's a bus shelter today, as well as down to um, the Walmart area uh, where there is some senior housing as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what, uh, and, and I guess in the other 
change that I wanted to highlight for current riders. Um, the Route 305 doesn't go along these roads, but the Route 311 does. So the Route 311 serves Compare Foods and Lake Pine Plaza, um, as well as stops along Old Raleigh Road. Yeah, so Old Raleigh Road is this road here. So we would be eliminating service from um, Old Raleigh Road there, um, and instead to, to provide service along um, at stops on, on Laura Duncan at the high school and a, a shopping center um, okay. at the Food Lion. And you mentioned the senior housing and the high school. So those are great opportunities for people to take advantage of the free youth pass. Um, you can find more information at youthgopass.com. And we also offer um, fare free when we're providing regular service for seniors as well. And that doesn't require a specific pass. So it sounds like folks are going to be able to really use that on this um, realignment. Yeah, 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 that's great. Um, and so before you go to the next slide, I did just want to mention that um, it's not just an extension to Holly Springs that is being proposed for next year. Uh, it is um, a large increase in um, service uh, between Apex and Raleigh. Right now, the service is only during peak hours, once an hour, but this would um, improve the service to run every 30 minutes during the peak hours and every hour during the middle of the day and on Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, this is a really big investment um, by Wake Transit in service uh, between Apex and downtown Raleigh. Can you remind folks um, what we mean when we say peak hour service? Sure, yeah, peak hours is on uh, weekdays, generally from six in the morning to nine in the morning, and also in the afternoon from around 3.30 to 6.30 or seven. Uh, what, what is being shown here on the screen is uh, some other changes that we're proposing in, in downtown Raleigh in order to make service as fast and efficient as possible. The Route 305 currently uh, serves stops along the state government complex um, directly, but what we're proposing here is a more streamlined route that serves state government complex from stops um, at Salisbury and Morgan uh, in both the um, inbound and the outbound directions. I did just wanna highlight also that the Route 301 would continue to serve stops along Wilmington and Salisbury uh, further north along the state government complex, um, mm -hmm. as well as the Go Raleigh routes that run rather frequently. Okay, so you've talked about Holly Springs and Apex um, a lot and the great services that are coming there. Can you tell us more about um, where else um, folks are gonna be able to get to, um, specifically with the 311? Sure, yeah, so the 311 also serves the town of Apex. It, because the 305 would be extended from Lake Pine Plaza to um, Hughes Street at Williams Street, uh, the Route 311 will no longer serve that portion. So 311 won't um, continue to go to Lake Pine Plaza. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who's using that as a park and ride um, can use the Compare Foods uh, stop as a park and ride uh, moving forward. There's a bus shelter there. Uh, we're also adding a stop on Salem Street at Moore Street um, and working on um, putting in some improvements there uh, like a bench and I think we're looking at a shelter as well. Uh, the other change that I wanted to highlight is that in RTP, if you want to go to the next slide, uh, we have a route change. Right now, um, the route does different things in the morning and the afternoon. Um, but what this proposal is to simplify the service and have the have it do go along the same path, both directions in the morning and the afternoon. Um, when we did the wake bus plan, we did a market analysis to see where bus service can be supported within RTP. And I'll just highlight it on the map here. Um, it's, it's in this area in Kit Creek Road, which is where um, Cisco, NetApp, um, Biogen, and uh, Lenovo is nearby there as well. These are all businesses that have a lot of employees who um, could benefit from um, this improved service in RTP. So there's a lot of uh, other changes to this route. I just encourage everyone to go to the website and see all those details. Yeah. So this one is is pretty awesome. I think there were quite a few people who were anticipating the McCrimmon Parkway extension. And so kind of with this route, what are some new destinations that people and our riders would be able to access? 
be okay. Yeah, so uh, the Route 310 is a new route that started this past August, August 2019. Um, it, it added service to Perimeter Park in Morrisville every 30 minutes. So that would continue to be served along with this change uh, this fall, um, as well as to the Wake Tech RTP campus along, um, what's it? Uh, of course, I'm just blanking right now. Watkins, Watkins Road. And uh, what the 310 extension would do is it would provide more service um, to Morrisville along McCrimmon Parkway, Evans Road, and Weston Parkway. And then once you get into Cary, it would serve the Park West Village where there's a lot of um, shopping and employment in that area. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, this would provide an all day um, connection between the Regional Transit Center uh, which is um, in this right up here um, through Perimeter Park. Uh, Park West Village is down in this area here. And then um, at the very end is Cary Depot. So we've been working with the town of Cary and the town of Morrisville on bus stop locations along this route, generally spacing them out about half a mile. And Go Triangle is uh, working to um, build um, bus stops, so build the pads, put in um, benches and shelters in the locations where they would be um, used by the most people. I, I did just want to highlight here that the um, the improvement from uh, right now the Route 300, which connects the RTC to the carry uh, to carry depot, is just provided during peak hours. Uh, but so this would add service in the middle of the day. So anyone going from Cary to Durham or to Chapel Hill um, can now have a faster trip. Um, you don't have to ride through downtown Raleigh. Um, That'd be a big benefit. Then go to the RTC. And then yeah, we hear that a lot. Yeah, so. the triangle, basically, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you mentioned the 300. So what changes are being made there to speed up the service? Yeah, so the Route 300, um, since the 310 will be providing that connection between the RTC and Cary, uh, the 300 will just run between Cary and Raleigh. Um, so that's a bit of a change for anyone who's riding through. Um, but we will be able to provide connections with Go Carry service on the Route 300. Um, along with this change. So um, that's a that's a big plus. Um, in downtown Raleigh, we're looking at speeding up the service by uh, serving the state government complex at those same bus stops that I mentioned with the Route 305, the, the stops at Salisbury and, and Morgan, uh, which would speed up the trip for people who are um, using the bus from Go Raleigh Station, uh, traveling to, to Cary, and we are seeing a, a significant number of people doing that in comparison to the people who are using those stops in the state government loop. Uh, because the 305 is also using the same routing as the 300 in downtown Raleigh, and they both travel down Western, um, Western Boulevard, we are going to coordinate the schedules. So if you're standing at Go Raleigh Station and you're going to somewhere along Western Boulevard, you'll see the 300 and 305 um, departing on staggered schedules. So you can use either the 300 or 305 when they're running. All right, I know the 800 is another big one for us. Um, there are a lot of commuters who live in Durham and, and use that parking ride there to get into Chapel Hill. So can you talk a little bit about how that's changing? It's moving moving slightly, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty small change. Um, Go Triangle and the city of Durham have been working with Streets of South Point to um, provide a bus stop on Renaissance Parkway. Streets of South Point has been leading the design and construction of this project to build a bus bay and um, Put bus shelters out on Renaissance Parkway, uh, and they're up, they're also building a sidewalk and connections um, to get into the the mall um, property itself. The park and ride spaces would also be uh, relocated closer to uh, the new bus stop. So, and uh, what will happen to the bus routes is that once this change, once this construction project is done, we would no longer 
enter the mall property, uh, which I think will help to speed up the routes, um, mm -hmm. especially during the holidays when um, there's a lot of traffic. Um, but we'd be on with the routes 800 and the 805 be serving the stop one stop on the same side of the street as the mall. Uh, Go Durham routes uh, five and 12 will also be serving that same bus bay. So the city of Durham will be constructing a bus lane in advance of that bus bay. Um, should there be you know, a lot of buses there at the same time, it's just to manage the traffic. So there are some changes to some bus stops. You can get some more information about that on the website. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what this, the biggest change here with the Route 800 that I wanna highlight to people is that because the buses will only be traveling westbound, meaning right today it's, it's um, the direction towards uh, Chapel Hill. But what it means is that even on the route that's going from Chapel Hill to the Regional Transit Center, traveling mm -hmm. east, at South Point, they're still gonna be traveling to the west. So we have to do, um, it'll be kind of like a loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop -loop around. Mm -hmm. loop -loop. <laughs> um, you know, we don't, we don't think that this will affect the schedule much, but it does, um, it is just something for people to be aware of right. um, as to what stops to use. It's helpful. Right. And if you're on the bus, it might look a little different at first. Right, yeah. Well, this was awesome. And Jenny, I really appreciate you joining us today. And for those watching, I hope that this video was helpful and that we were not too boring and entertaining for you today. So on the screen, you're going to see some information about how you can get involved and shape your community investment in transit. So to read the proposed service changes and to submit your comments, visit gotriangle.org slash service dash changes. I know that's a mouthful. You can also mail some comments into the address listed on the screen. And as always, follow us on Twitter to stay up to date at Go Triangle. And so thanks again for joining us and we hope you stay healthy and safe. And we hope to see you out on the buses again when it's safe to do so soon. Bye guys. Thanks, Jenny. Bye. Yeah, bye.